We have woken up bright and early, my friends. Yes, it is 10.48, but don't worry. We have beaten the breakfast crowd and we are the first ones here for breakfast here in Yerevan, Armenia. We are down Northern Avenue, one of the main strips, and uh, we're gonna show you what an Armenian combo breakfast looks like. We have ordered it already, uh, so we're gonna see uh, what it looks like when we get to Kati finally. It's a little bit brisk out here, a little bit chilly for us Floridians. It's uh, a very, very cold 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got the old school sweater if you've watched our channel for a long time. We've been wearing t-shirts for a while, but we're back to the sweater. And uh, we are on the main area here. This is Northern Avenue. Um, that is the Opera House. Um, where they do ballets still to this day. No problem with that. That's one of the main tunnel areas. And we see a, um, a main uh, pedestrian path with uh, a road for cars as well. Red dog therapy. This lady hasn't met her friends. And it says therapy hours, which is pretty funny. She call it dog therapy? Is it not? Oh, it's doc therapy? Doc, like a doctor. This whole th time when that was dog therapy, that actually makes a lot more sense than a stock therapy. <laughs> hey, Kati, good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're at Doc Therapy. Uh, apparently, now I need my therapy hours. Now, it says it opens at uh, 8 a.m., but it's actually uh, 1049, and we were the first people here, even though we got here like 10 minutes ago. So for breakfast, we have ordered a, uh, a Armenian combo, right? So, you know, you have your American full breakfast, you have your English breakfast, and now today we have our Armenian combo. But we did make some adjustments to it. Now, normally um, you still have your lavash bread, which we have. So that's that thin type of uh, bread that you could use. Just put some hummus on it, or you can pack it with uh, different, um, you know, fruits and vegetables, Nutella, whatever. We have uh, our omelet. Now, normally this would come with um, prosciutto. Uh, we didn't really want to do ham today. Um, so instead of that, we just took that out. So as you can see, not really truly an omelet. It's more like kind of a scrambled eggs. It looks like it has eggs and tomatoes and cheese. And then that's on another piece of lavash bread. Here we have two types of cheese. The first one, uh, we're not cheese experts. Uh, in America, Kati's actually lactose intolerant, so we're new to cheese. But uh, this looks more like a goat's cheese kind of situation. This one to the right, I think it's still your right, is uh, cow's cheese. And then originally we could get uh, two pieces of ham, but we have a ham-free uh, breakfast here. So we have our uh, sliced cucumbers as a replacement and our tomatoes. And here, uh, we don't really know what's going on with that. We had a whole pile of fresh herbs and that, sen that seems to be a thing out here. We've got basil, we've got cilantro, we've got thyme. I think this is thyme. Whatever this herb is, I really don't like it. Um, and then we've got some chives. Uh, I would imagine it would have been a lot better to cook these herbs in this omelet or scrambled eggs. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we do want to show you what the original picture looks like because at doc therapy bar, not dog therapy bar. Well, maybe therapy. if you bring your dog or your goat, then you, you give them the uh, the raw lettuce. Yeah, um, but this is what the original. Hold this up for me, please. Mm -hmm. The original. Yeah. So if you do get your ham, all right, and then these are sliced of prosciutto on top of it. Uh, they are burying the uh, instead of burying the lead, they're burying the leaves here. So you, you don't see that the, the garnish is the main star there, but um, yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. And as you can see, that looks like a proper omelet. Yeah, it doesn't just look like scrambled eggs. Not this. I, don't, I know you need like eggs to make an omelet, but I didn't think you needed the prosciutto. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so, how much was this dish? So this was 3,500 dram. Yes. Drams, <laughs> which equates to about seven US dollars. Um, I'm not sure how much the water was. Uh, another thing, there is a, a service fee at some of like the nicer places. We're on the main strip here, so what's a 10% service fee? So 10% service fee, seven dollars before that, uh, and then we got a bottle of water as well, which we've almost finished. I was gonna say they do have a bunch of specialty coffees here, like really fun flavors. Uh, they even have 
pour overs and coffees that you normally wouldn't see elsewhere but they're also in the three to four to five dollar range and we just didn't want to spend that much on coffee especially when there's tons of these little I don't know if you can see it there in the distance but there's tons of these little pop-up coffee shops that you can just grab coffee on the go and they're usually one to two dollars <laughs> yeah they have the full flavors they have like the moaning syrup so if you want it um, some different flavorings or most of them have um, like candy bar flavorings as well so you can get Snickers or Mars which for you, for us Americans, uh, that'd be Milky Way flavoring. Essentially, I know it's a little bit different. Um, and like Kinder, or um, I think we've got a Twix a one. Snickers one, yeah. yeah. So all kinds of different flavors that you can have with your coffee. And they're what, about like a dollar for a small, I think? A dollar to two dollars, yeah. So a lot more feasible. We might go grab a coffee out there instead of here. Yeah, so let's see what, uh, what our food looks like here. So I'm gonna try our omelet. Or lack thereof. Right, at least our eggs. All right, we have a we don't have a proper camera with us, so the zoom's not gonna work. But uh, you can kind of see what it looks like with the eggs and the cheese and tomatoes. Um, all right, let's try. It. Still gets you a little tanginess with the cheese. I don't know. The sheep cheese or goat cheese? Maybe yeah. it's like the goat cheese. So I hit you a little bit in the cheeks. So yeah, it tastes like the cheese and the um, and the tomatoes. Really, uh, eggs are kind of you know not overly powerful or, or like really seasoned stuff like that. They do give you the salt and pepper. Might have to do that. Maybe mix it in with the herbs. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta do something like that. Maybe we'll find uh, one of those Armenian sheep dogs. Be able to feed them that. Here's our cheese. Like you can see, it crumbles um, as you're. Kind of cutting it. This is probably gonna be pure sheet tape. Cheese is gonna be really kind of tangy, but let's see how it is. Oh, I'll it is. We even got a pizza here. At, while well, he's chewing, at that place over there with the yellow and red circle. Yeah, we got a pizza here at one of the, like the chain kind of restaurants, and um, instead of like the tr traditional mozzarella cheese that you have on like an Italian or New York pizza, they had that cheese, and yeah, it's like really all sorts of flavor a lot. All right, let's see if we can uh, have some cow cheese for the win. Maybe we don't know if that's cow cheese. We'll see. All right, move over, sheep cheese. Time for some traditional stuff. I don't know for sure, let us know if we're wrong, but um, that definitely tastes like cow's cheese to me. You don't get that uh, tart stinging in your cheeks. Now, what kind of cheese that is, I don't know. Uh, some kind of, uh, I mean, the coloring is white, but I don't know. Yeah, I just tried it. It is cow's cheese, but it's really salty. Mm. But yeah. All right, so let's try this. Maybe try the eggs with the lavash in it and a slice of cheese. Sorry, yes. this is a big compliment for you. Oh, oh thank you. Oh my goodness, thank, thank you. So you. It's a very clean coffee because we roast coffee. It's a okay. very, very nice coffee. Nice. Thank wow, you so much. Wow, thank this, you. Uh, name is a pour over. Pour over? Uh, okay. This is all have, very fancy. <laughs> we have a th uh, four types of coffee. Okay. Uh, Arabica, a dog is a 1713. Mm -hmm. Very good coffee. And a 50 50 Harmony, Leandro. This is a dog, it's a very good coffee. I okay. thought it was we, dog at first, but it's doc. <laughs> yeah. We rust coffee, we blend coffee, uh, and this is a very clean coffee because a paper cleaner, mm -hmm. filter. Yeah, filter, yep. Did you grow up learning English? Uh, I understand you, but a very good speak, don't speak. I think you speak good. I understand everything you're saying. Yeah. So this is a specialty brew that you make here. A mix, special, the doc mix is your combination? Is it a doc coffee? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a, a very good blend for me. Okay. okay, nice. How exciting. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen this before. And you have Waiting to wait. Yeah. Minutes. Okay. Wow, nice. So 
you pour it over, right? And then it comes through here. And then once the time is finished, then we can drink it, right? Okay, nice. This is paper filter. Paper filter, yeah. We didn't know we'd get a nice show today. Yeah, this is a show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, thank you. Usually you have a show with dinner, not breakfast. <laughs> Dog. Yes. Yes. Dog nice. show. Yeah. And Good at, morning. Yes. Yeah. And I was gonna say, at nighttime, is it a bar too or no? Yeah. Uh, two floor is a bar floor. Uh, very nice. Okay. Oh, top floor. Okay. Yeah. And open bar. An open bar. Mm. Nice. Yeah, we've walked down the strip before, and we see it at nighttime busy. So that's. We'll have to come back at night time. No yes. <laughs> we'll come back, eat, drink, and talk. Welcoming. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. And get your roses. Yeah, the roses? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Did nice. you plant these flowers? Yes. You did? Okay. You did it yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> All yeah. together, staff. <laughs> it's good because you get the fresh air from the wind between the buildings and you get the air from the roses. Yeah. It's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're really pretty roses. Nice. We love dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love this. How, How long, long have you very good coffee? How long have you worked here? Two years. Two years? Wow, okay. nice. So because you work here, do you get free coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or discounted coffee maybe? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Does it ever get too loud with the cars, like honking? Uh, um, no, normal. Normal, yeah. yeah. This is the main street in Yerevan, right? Northern Avenue? Northern Avenue, yes. Okay. Yeah. What is the best night to come out here with a lot of people? Cascade. Oh, Cascades is better? Yes. More okay. people? Okay. Yes, more people. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, you what do you do when you go to the Cascades? Um, you go to restaurants at the Cascades or for coffee? What do you do? Yeah, uh, restaurant, coffee. Okay, both. Yeah. Do you walk up the Cascades yes. and down? Okay. Yeah. There is an elevator though, right? <laughs> it's a sports uh, okay. gym time. Yeah, uh, gym time, yeah. So I have my, my running shoes on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> morning. Yes. Well, morning, come free here. Free gym. Yeah. Right. Free gym, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Free show and then free gym yes. at Cascades. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. Wonderful. It's yeah. yeah. This finished. It's finished now? Okay. Wonderful. And then, you, so you take this, this away? Yeah, yeah you go from above. Oh, yeah. You can see the air kind of coming out. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. And thank you. Yeah, this just proves the Armenian hospitality is amazing here. Everybody is so welcoming. Thank yes. you. Welcoming. This is a very good alternative coffee. Wonderful. Enjoy. And thank these are big you. coffee beans? This is also coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. The judges are trying to sway us. <laughs> yeah, because uh, so far the food hasn't been best, but you know, yeah. let's see this coffee. Okay, so I mean, I'm just going to obviously just drink it uh, normally here. Try this out. Good you coffee know? shouldn't eat all the extra stuff, yeah. so. Smells really good. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. Um, Can't it, completely see through it, but it is lighter. Yeah, put it down because there's a glare. So let me just do okay. it this way. So you can see through it. Well, let's try this, right? Can you see the spoon? Do yeah. the... Uh, hold on. No? Yes? Yes. So you can see it a little bit. So yeah, it's definitely not a wheat coffee where uh, it's all water. Okay, there's a big bee. Keep going. All right. That's the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay. I really like the coffee. Better than the that. breakfast? <laughs> yeah, I like the coffee is, has saved the day. All right, let me try the coffee. Yeah, it's definitely a good blend. Um, it's not strong. Um, so I would have it again, especially because, you know, these are definitely 
just specialty type of coffees that you just don't get this very often around here. Um, yeah, because as yeah. you could tell, we wanted to try it, but it was a little bit uh, yeah. outside so, of our honeymoon spun budget. <laughs> yeah, the pour over would cost typically 2,500 dram, which about is five bucks. five bucks, yeah. But if you um, get two cups out of it, I mean, I didn't really think about that either. Well, the thing is, these are about five to six bucks back home, and you get this whole thing filled. We would oh, get like okay. four cups out of it. So you might get four cups out of that? Yeah, back home. But, you know, at least we, I mean, I don't think I've had us pour over since we've left America. So okay. <laughs> this is a nice treat for sure. Yes. So with our breakfast. And there's a bee. <laughs> Okay, the, the bee is saying wrap it up, guys. All right, so we have our breakfast. Uh, not sure if we would get just this breakfast again, but they have a full menu. Um, yeah, they have a lot of other items. Of like Europe, and you know, maybe with the meat, it's a little bit better, but yeah, they have Europe. Uh, you can't see any of that with the glare. Oh, but sorry, um, yeah, there's a full menu here. It's a great location, especially at night when you have upstairs where you can have your doc therapy sessions. And we do have our coffee here. Coffee is nice. Um, hospitality everywhere in Yerevan is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, cheers to Yerevan. And uh, hope you enjoyed this breakfast vlog. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. This is Witty Travels. What could possibly be next? <laughs>